Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw these graphs, an exponential and log graph, both with the base 2. Some software doesn't like uh, base other than E or 10, but uh, we can use any base in Inkscape with the right uh, function and commands. So I'll show you how I did that. If I scroll down to a new area and go, first of all, view page grid. And if I scroll, uh, zoom out a bit, and I want a square grid because I want to equal X and Y scales. 3, 4, 5, 10, and down to about there. If I check, there, 100 and 100. Yep, that's 10 centimetres because I've got a centimetre grid. With the rectangle selected, I'll go to Extensions, Render, and Function Plotter. And you can see I've got the log in there, but I want to start off with the exponential function, that's 2, and then a double asterisk for a power, and then x. That replaces the caret or the little hat symbol, uh, which is used by Python within Inkscape. Now I want that uh, negative 5 to 5 square grid, and make sure you've got this tick in here. Take out uh, the first derivative, because that overrules what's uh, calculated numerically. We don't want anything funny happening there. OK, now we can do a live preview and see the exponential graph. Look, I'll put draw axes in there. Yep, happy with that. Apply and close. Now, if I click on this uh, water there, that's the, uh, the rectangle. Uh, I think I'll leave that there because I want to do another graph and I'll need a rectangle. I click on that, there's the function extends right up, you know, far further than we wanted. So I'll just zoom in there, and what I'll do is I'll just click the graph and then end for the node tool. You can see there's a node there, I'll actually click on that one. If there's not one where you want to break it, you can double click to produce a node. And this icon here breaks it there, but you've also got to go path, break apart. If I click selection tool, click away, then just click the top bit and press delete on the keyboard. I've restricted my uh, exponential graph to the box, which is what I want. I'll select that again and shift click blue. Increase its width up to 0.7 to make it a bit uh, more apparent. Now I'm going to click the graph, the box again, around the graph, because I need a box when I have an Inkscape uh, function ready to be plotted. But um, remember, log can't plot negative values, can only plot from uh, greater than zero onwards. So I'll change the box to that. And I know zero can't be plotted, but uh, we'll get around that in a minute. Extensions, render, and function plotter again. And this time I'll change this to 0 0.001. No smaller because uh, that uh, caused problems before and uh, I couldn't get a graph. So. 0.01 is where I'll start my x value and I'll type in the function box log of x but the comma 2 tells me the um, Inkscape function plotter I want base 2. I can do a live preview that should reveal if there are any errors. There aren't, that looks right. So I'll apply and close and I'll just click on that box and delete but you can see I've got the problem down here. I'll just change this to red just to differentiate it from the other one, shift click red and bump this up to 0.7. Uh, now you can see it's part of a group with an axis in there. What I should have done is removed the uh, tick from show axes when I had the function plotter dialog open. But look I can break that apart by control shift K, breaks it into two things, click away then just click on the red axis and delete to get rid of that. Now if I zoom in here, you can see this is the grid square, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down here, that I want the graph to stop at. If I click on it and N for node tool, there's not a node where I want to break it, so I'll double click here to create a new one, click the break at that node icon, path, break apart, selection tool, click away and then just click on the bottom bit and delete and I've restricted that. So there I have my exponential and log graphs. 
I'd probably go in and uh, click both axes, shift click the other one, bump them up to say 0 0.4 or 0 0.5, put an arrow on them and under view page grid take that off and you can see I've got a nice uh, exponential and log graph. I can label them as I've done up here but uh, that looks pretty good. Just to go into uh, a rectangle, I'll just open up any rectangle and extensions function plotter again, render function plotter. I should have taken the tick out of draw axis a second time so I didn't have to delete the uh, axes. Take that tick out there. Anyway, I'll leave it there for the moment. Close that without doing anything. And delete that. So there's how we do exponential and log graphs in Inkscape using its extension. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye for now.